Hey guys, Kat Calm here with Studio Sweat On Demand, and I have some lovely assistants with me today. On my left, which is your right, I have Becky. She is going to be modeling using a kettlebell converter, which is this really cool tool that allows you to take any dumbbell and stick it inside of it, and then it kind of turns it into a kettlebell. Then, on my right, your left, I have Shelly. Such beautiful women, right? And Shelly is going to be modeling using just a dumbbell for this workout. This is a no-repeat workout. That means once you've finished with an exercise, that's it. We're moving on. We've got about, mm, I think we've got like three warm-up uh, exercises, and then we've got about 21 all-out kettlebell um, exercises, but you will get these little 30-second breaks. They're formulated, they're designed, they're calculated, they're right when you need them. So know those little tiny 30-second breaks, I think there are three of them are coming at you. So grab your bell, grab your dumbbell, any bell, just grab your bell, even if it's in, con in a converter. I'll put a link to where you can get this, by the way, in the description. And let's go get our sweat on. 30 minutes all out. Let's go. Get even more Studio Sweat On Demand with our seven-day free trial. We've got a huge library of live and on-demand workout videos, all filmed in our studio and featuring real people just like you. Download our app today. Are you ready? All right, you guys. Starting with a triple extension for warm-up in four, Three, squat in two, one. Squat, reach, squat, reach. Take it nice and slow, this is warm up. Notice how I'm coming up onto my toes and dropping my hips back. So right here, you're up on your toes and squat. Perfect. Steve, what's your friend's name? Daryl? Daryl? Good job, Daryl. And reach. Squat. Big reach. Come on, get long. And reach. Squat. We're going to smile throughout this whole workout, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Oh, there goes Becky. Big smile. Reach. Squat, reach, come on, nice and tall. Squat, reach, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reverse lunge. Bring your hands up, rotate towards your forward leg, and then stand back up, same thing other side, like this. Here we go. And up. And up. Try to always twist towards that forward leg. This is really testing your balance, getting your body ready for a kick butt workout. Oh, it's okay, Shell. There you go. Perfect. We're gonna go into a plank position next, like a push-up position. We're gonna do a little push-up turnout from the knees. Perfect. Now, take it to your knees. Push up. Come to your toes. Turn it out. Push up. And turn out to the other side. Remember, this is warm-up. If you're super strong and do push-ups really easily, you can do it from the toes. Perfect. Make sure you're turning your hips open. How we feeling, family? Woo! Good group in San Diego this morning. Feed off of our energy. Time for just one more. Hello, friends. Okay, now, grab your bell. I'm gonna hold it like this. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put it behind your back. 
and you're gonna say good morning sunshine so you have a slight bend in your knees so if you look at Shelly she's got a slight bend in her knees she's taking her hips and she's pushing them back and lifting with her core so don't bend your knees very much it's just a little tiny bend to get the give me a microphone to get the mobility going on flat back yes this is part of warm-up it's about to get on are you guys ready to go <laughs> let's do it okay with your dumbbell or your weight, I want you to bring it up, one side up, okay? I'm gonna demo from this direction. Reverse lunge and press. Same leg, reverse lunge and press. So it's a repeater. Got it? Perfect, keep going. We're really working on um, stabilizing your core here. Getting heavy? Switch to the other side. Here we go. Do looks like a lady. The music is so fun in this one. It's all mashups. Good job, you guys. Now, we're coming into one of our harder moves. It's called the angel of death. Uh-oh. Grab your belt like this or your dumbbell. Squat, then wrap it around your head, drop to your chest. Squat, now wrap it around the other direction. Keep going, alternate sides. And if you forget which direction to go, don't worry about it. Just try to alternate. Do you guys feel that in your cores? Amy, you feeling it? Woo-hoo! Blade, I bet you got a big bell. Perfect. Your pace, deep squat. See if you can get lower, okay, Sean? That really does a number on your obliques right here. Perfect, now, we're gonna take it to our backs. Find a comfortable way to do a skull crusher. Start with just the skull crusher. Elbows stay locked in place, shoulders in place, socks locked in place. Once you get going, I want you to squeeze your hips or glutes to lift your hips as your arms straighten. Big squeeze at the top. I want you to squeeze your triceps and glutes as hard as you can even holding set for a second at the top. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh, Shelly's squeezing high, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys look amazing. Squeeze your triceps even harder. There you go. All right, you got it, you got it, Kat. Don't worry, I'm not talking to myself, though I usually do. There's another cat in class. Okay, bring it up. You know how we did that good morning sunshine? Same idea, but you're gonna hold the bell or your dumbbell, whatever you have in one hand. As Soon as you feel steady, drop that arm to the outside. Keep your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Number one mistake here, shoulder out of pocket. Keep your chest proud, good Shelly. And keep your legs straight. It's a straight leg deadlift. Two more, then we're gonna switch arms. How about this way, yeah, good? Other side, switch hands. Come on, you know what you're doing now. You guys, we are gonna hit the entire body today. From head to toe. And I got my girls helping me right here. Perfect. Now, we're gonna hold the bell like this, okay? Find a good spot, and I want you to bring it to a half kneeling position. 
The dumbbell is on the side, or the bell's on the side of the front leg. Arm out and press. 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 If this is easy for you, I want you to step away from your spot and go grab a heavier weight. Five more, please. Five, good arena. Four, you got it, Elaine. Come on, three, two, other side, and one. Here we go. Ladies, how we doing? Here we go, switch sides. Come on. The next move is my favorite move. It's called the bob and weave. Yadira, you like to box? We're gonna box it out, girl. Sammy, you like to box? Let's get to it. All right, safely come up. I'm gonna hold it like this. Take your toes out. Bob, I'm weave like a boxer. Bob, Bob, it's off tempo. Don't worry about the tempo. Get low and then press to the side. Where's your squat? None of this, okay? I have good news, guys. We're gonna take a 30 second break. We're gonna let your forearms have a little rest in 25 seconds. Get lower, Jerry! Come on, Beck! Start to speed it up. Come on, fire it up. 15 seconds, we're going faster. Keep the bell in place. Shelly, how we doing? Maid Marion, speed it up with me, girl. There you go, three, two, one. Bell down, move. Whatever you want. Get your body long. Reach it. Extend it. Move it. Don't trip on your bell. That's bad. Just keep moving. Okay. Grab your bell. One hand only. Kettlebell swing. One arm. Keep it here. Here we go. Huh. Huh. Is this a full squat, yes or no? No. Bell should land just below the knees. Where's the power coming from? Hips and core. Those glutes are powering. I almost took out my own kneecap there. Good. Come on. So what is lifting that bell? Your lower body. Your upper body, respond. 10 seconds. Heart rate should be coming up good. Yes, Luis? Yes? Come on, Slade. Woo. Take the bell, put it in the other hand. Okay? Now squat like this. And row. And row. This is called, so get it all the way to the ground. This is called a suitcase row, because we're coming so close to the ground. Yes, Becky, get it down, get it down. All the way to the ground, yo. I want it to touch the ground, understand me? Switch sides in three, two, one. Other hand. Chest up, chest up, chest up. So if you look at my shoulder blades, watch. Squeeze. 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 You really want to bring the shoulder blades together there. Okay? Now, you know how we did it on this side? Now we're going to do it on this side. Are you ready? Three, swing. Two, one. It's on. This hand, wherever you want it. As far as which exercise of all of these is the most full body, you're looking at it. Your core has to stabilize like crazy here. You guys, 30 seconds. Oh my gosh. Is it burning? 
<laughs> Don't worry. We got a nice easy one next. Sit up press coming. We're gonna drop to our backs. Hold the kettlebell at our chest next. 10 seconds, stay. You got this, don't be the one that quits. Four seconds. Woo! You're gonna love me. We're down here. Kettlebell at your chest. Sit up. Press. Now, if you can't do that, try it. Sons the bell. If even that is a bit much for you, I want you to hold on to your hamstrings lightly. Give yourself only the assist that you need. And then maybe next time you do this workout, you go here. And then after you do that a few times, because you have put the work in, maybe you do this. Yeah, you got options, people. You got options. Yes. Oh my gosh, my favorite move. It's called a figure eight lunge. The key on this one is you're gonna pass the weight to the inside of your leg as you lunge. Not the outside, no. Inside, yes. Okay, three, two, one. Go at your own pace. So see how I'm passing it? And to the inside. If you go to the outside, you might as well already be thinking about the bruise you're gonna see on your leg. Guess what? You guys want some good news? Always. 30 second break number two coming. Can we fire it up without losing the depth of the lunge? Right, so this is that nice deep lunge. Knee coming almost to the ground. Drop your bell. What do we do? We move. We extend. We get long. We smile. Okay. Clean sweep and press coming next. Clean sweep and press. Yes? One arm. You only got one bell. Okay, get ready. Start with your dominant side. You're gonna do a half squat. Wrap the bell, then press it. Ready, go. So, like the kettlebell swing, what's lifting that weight up, is it your upper body or lower body? Lower body. Because you're popping. Yes, Yadira, girl. You got this. All it took was a month. Jody, come on. Do we switch sides? No, we don't, do we? This is for a full minute. Oh my. You guys, 15 seconds. Hey, bend your knees, bend your knees. Little bend. Otherwise, you're only gonna be using upper body. You gotta bend the knees to pop. Repeat after me. Yes, I can. Other side. Here we go. Some of you are hinging forward like this. And this is what not to do. Uh-uh. Your chiropractor will be happy if you do that. But your back won't. You keep your torso upright. Swing it. Then press it. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? You gotta keep it upright, okay? And the only way to keep it upright is to bend your knees. Agreed? Yasha? You're sweat, woman. Oh my. Guys, coming up next, your traditional swing. Repeat after me. Two hands on your bell. Attitude is everything. 
Here we go. Come on. Now this time, see how high you can get your bow, but do not let it pass your forehead. Meaning at the top, don't let it go further back than here. Okay? It stops here. And for some of you, depending on the size of your weight, you might be doing American or you might be doing the Russian. Fired up final 20. Come on. Look it, watch. Boom. 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 I like your friend, Daryl. He's killing it. You guys ready for your final rest? Bell down. We move. Come on. Becky dancing. Come on, get loud. Now, I'm going to demo the next move. The first one's going to look ugly. I'm going to show you from the side. Okay? Here's what you're going to do. Lift the knee. Drop it down. Keep your knee bent. Uh-oh, I already bobbled. And then pull it up. Okay? So right here. Slight bend, almost like a single leg deadlift. Then bring it up. Put your weight in your big toe. And that back knee is actually bent. Okay? Here we go. See, let's see it. So some of you are still using a straight leg. Remember, it's a bent leg. It's called a single leg swing. Okay, one more. Now switch and do the same thing on the other side, yeah? Ready, set, go. Oh, dominant side right here. Way better. Hallelujah. You know what it should say? It's rain and sweat. Do one more, do one more. Okay, you guys ready? Y'all know this one, deadlift, high pull. Here we go. So, legs stay straight. Softness in the knees. Pull. 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 Yeah, Shelly's like, wait, how do I do this? Pull. So notice, just enough bend in my knees to facilitate the mobility and be able to keep a flat back. Is your back flat? Don't feel like you need to go to the ground, okay? You go with the mobility that you have. So keep it a little bit more straight, Michelle. Legs a little bit more straight. Legs a little bit more straight. My in-studio people, I love you so much, but they matter just as much. Good, all right, you guys. Now, you're gonna have to figure out what the best way to hand off your weight is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that kettlebell into a chest fly and alternate sides. So with whatever you're using, you're gonna figure out what works best for you. I like holding my bell upside down and then just leaving a little space on either side. Now, you wanna spice this up, lift your legs up and extend them out. Uh-oh. If the bell's too heavy, oh! <laughs> you can also change it to a chest press, right? Where you're bending. 10 seconds, you guys. Oh my gosh, we're so close to done that we stretch. Okay, all right, you guys. That was it for your no repeat. We're gonna go into a little bit of a stretch, okay? You earned it. Okay, you guys, so yes, it is time to stretch. You made it. If this is the end of your workout, I do want you to stretch with us. You're gonna bring your arms up nice and tall. Grab a hold of one wrist, keep your knees soft, and give me a nice side body stretch to the side. It doesn't matter which side. Breathe. I see your light 
Big Lee reached back up into the mountain and then hit the other side. One more time, other side. Breathe, try and slow down your heart rate here. Other side. Perfect, now I want you to bring your arms up like this, okay? And then you're going to do a slight back bend into cactus. Chin up. While you're there, I want you to open and close your jaw just really gently a couple of times. Feel your jaw release. Feels beautiful. One more time, reach it into mountain. And take it back just for about five seconds. There you go. Okay, you know your runner's lunge. So we're gonna bring it into a runner's lunge position. Sorry for my girls that don't have mats, but I want you to keep that back leg down and just lean forward far enough to where you're really feeling the stretch, okay? From there, if you'd like to advance the stretch, drop the arm of the back leg, reach up the arm of the forward leg. Take a look up at it. Put your weight in your big toe, it'll help stabilize. Rock it back into a hamstring stretch. Totally cool if you have bend in your knee, by the way. I'd rather you have a little bend in your knee than be pineapple. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not talking about you at all, Brian. Doesn't that feel amazing? Three, two, one. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and just rock it forward into your plank position. Hold it nice and solid, and then bring the other leg forward. Drop the knee, lift the body up, and then remember you're gonna sink into it. So your knee should be either over your ankle or over your laces, or if you really have good hip mobility, it might go over the toe, just but right on top of it, not beyond it. Then remember what we can do to advance that stretch is we can drop this arm and lift this arm. Drop it back into your hamstring stretch. Ignore the timer here. We're gonna hold it for about another 10 seconds. Perfect. Take it to your sides, guys. Just real quick, take it to your sides. Reach back. Just rest your head in your hand. Stretch the quad, keep your legs close together. So you don't wanna be in front of it. You know, you wanna be like, just legs lined up. Good, good, good. Oh, I love this song. Perfect, take your leg extended out in front of you. Lift your arm up, see if you can I open can it. With your mobility may or may not allow for this. Laughing, but the joke's not funny Gently bring it forward. Put your hand back in your head. And it took I said that backwards, but you know what I meant. To <laughs> Switch over to the one. other side. You made it. You slayed it. No, not yet. Well, you did, but we're going to stretch just a little longer. <laughs> okay, so same thing, other side. I think I've seen this Start with the quad stretch. And I didn't like the end. This song is called Exile. It's by Bone Iver and, uh, you know, that little old lady named Taylor Swift. Bring it forward. Stretch out your IT band, your hip a little there. See if you can open it up. How many of you are like, she is nuts? That's not happening for me. That's okay. Come out of it the way you went into it, meaning lift that arm. Put your hand back in your head. Okay. Bring your knees into this tuck position here and gently roll it up. Okay. Now you're going to see my worst stretch, which is the butterfly. 
but I'm gonna do it anyways because it's good for me. Now here's what works for me, okay? First of all, how about the fact that I can do this on my ankle now? Can I get a round of applause for me? Thank you. <laughs> I still have major PTSD when it comes to skater jumps. I rolled it, I jumped, I was doing skater jumps, and I landed on a dumbbell, on a dumbbell, and it hit hard, and we were filming. So what I like to do is I like to give my knees just a little bit of shake to loosen it up, and then once I feel like they're loose, then I'll give it a little push down. It is the tightest spot on my whole body. You guys are amazing, right? Say it, I am amazing. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, you guys, I want you to find your comfortable position. It can be crisscross applesauce. You can hit a hip stretch, whatever works for you. This is my favorite hip stretch. I call it the pretzel, okay? If you're gonna do this, do the other side as well, but we have to say goodbye right now. So everyone lift your hands up. Bring them down to heart center. Really relax your shoulders. Take a nice, deep, well-deserved bow. Sit your body back up, and you all know what to do. Check it off, because this workout is done. Great job, you guys, great job. See you next time.